Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpacked Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pin a file or folder to your dock on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to have a file or folder of your choosing easily accessible at all times as it's always in the dock. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this process, all you need to do is open up Finder and then find a file or folder that you would like to pin. So we'll start with a folder to start with. So I've got this folder on my desktop. Um, it's just called Files. All it's got in it is just some old screen recordings from this YouTube channel. However, what I can do is if, let's say, I wanted this to be in my dock so it's always easily accessible. Because you can see that we do have the downloads folder always accessible so we could try it with this file so what i can do is select the file and then go up to the menu bar and select file then what you need to do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard to allow you some additional options and you can see when i'm not holding shift it says add to sidebar but if i hold down shift it then says add to dock so if i click that you'll see that it adds it to the dock at the bottom here and then I can click it and then I've got all the files easily accessible here just like my downloads folder. So that's actually a really um, great process there of um, doing that with your file and then you can also make some customization so I can right click on it and display it as maybe a folder instead so it just comes up as a folder icon rather than a stack. You can see how it changes the little icon you've got there and there's also a few other options as well. Um, such as forcing it to a fan, which is like what's on the downloads folder by default, a grid, which is what it's done, a list, like so, or just automatic, which will base it on what it thinks is most useful. Then if you want to get rid of it, all you have to do is drag it out, hold it out, and it will say remove, and then you can remove it like so. You can also do this for files. So if I go to my downloads folder, and let's say I want this macOS Ventura wallpaper always pinned. You can see what that is there. Uh, what I can do is, um, I'll get rid of preview here. Um, what you can do is the same process. Click on the file you want. Then go up to the file option in Finder. Hold down Shift and then click Add to Dock. You'll see it is now shown up in the bottom there. And then I can click on it and it will open up like so. Really simple and easy. So, um, and the same process for getting rid of it, you can drag it out and hold it until it says remove and then let go, or you can just drag it to the bin and it will say remove from dock and it will remove it and it will not delete the file that way. And finally, you can also do this for entire folder, like, you know, these main set subsections. So let's say I wanted uh, my applications folder um, to be sitting there. Uh, like so. What I can do is um, click on applications here, then go up to file and then hold down shift again and then you'll see the option for add to dock once again. I can click that and you'll see that it has now added my applications folder to the dock like so um, and you can see that they're all there ready to be viewed at any time. So that's really helpful and then once again if you want to get rid of it you can drag it away and click remove. Um, so that's a really simple process. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful in giving you a good idea of how you can link these files or folders from Finder into the dock on macOS. And it's really helping, hopefully, to sort of make you a bit more productive in your workflow. This has been really helpful for me in being able to easily access important files at any time just from the dock. So I hope um, it can be helpful to you all as well. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. And with that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.